hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new you're welcome my name is rosina sharon and today we are going to do makeup on this very beautiful soul over here so we're going to do how to do makeup on a uh, ebony skin which is very very dark skin yeah and before you do that kindly subscribe share your thoughts in the comment section down below i'll be reading all of them kamakawa ida and if you like the video give it a big thumbs up with no further ado let us go straight into the video okay guys so here i was just trying to make her hair so at least it looks good with the makeup i just added extension nothing much and i laid the, uh, the hair down sorry so for the face we're going to start off by trimming her eyebrows so at least it's easier for us to line when we start lining and then after that we're just going to brush the eyebrows up using a spoolie first before we start lining and uh, to line up uh, for her skin tone we are going to use the Davis number one eye pencil instead of number three this is darker so for a darker skin tone you go for a darker eye pencil so that is what we're going to use at two line then after lining we're going to use a bit of a becca primer just to lay the eyebrows down we're going to use that to brush through her eyebrows and then we're going to press it in so let the hairs stay in put and they don't move during the day and then after that we're just going to fill in with the very same eye pencil we used to line that is davis number one you can see it's a bit darker here yeah? that is what we're going to use to fill in feeling very very slightly don't make it too dark because we still want to see her natural hairs on the eyebrows and then after that to clean her eyebrows we're using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa Dark Cocoa for darker skin tones Dark Cocoa so we're going to start off uh, just before the inner corner going towards the outer corner and then use the product remaining on the brush around the inner corner and then on the upper side of the brows we are going to use a bit of a foundation instead of a concealer and then after that I'm moving on we're just going to set her lids using the very same concealer we use to clean her eyebrows and then for her eye makeup today we wanted to go with something uh, very subtle not too much so we're going to use a darker shade of brown because we want like a bronzed look for her we're going to use that darker shade of brown around the crease region on the lower part and then uh, blend that in with the brown shade as our second transition just to blend in um, the first look we went for the first shade sorry and then after that we are going to apply a bit of glitter so we're starting off with a um, glitter glue and then we're just going to apply a bit of a gold glitter we do not want to make the eye look too you know too conspicuous because we wanted to focus on the skin today and then after that we're just going to apply a falsies and then we can move on to the face I normally uh, love to apply the cream eyeliner on the waterline before I move on to the face so it does not um, when I, after I've done foundation I don't mess up the face after foundation so after that before we start doing the face we're just going to clean it up first before we start applying the skin prep products and then for the face we're going to start off with the CeraVe AM facial moisturizing lotion it has SPF 30 in it very very amazing and we're just going to apply that all over her face and then allow it to set fast before we move on to the next product so make sure you tap 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 that in and then give it some time to set first before we move on to the next and then after that has set we're going to apply primer for primer i am using the rimmel stay matte primer focusing mostly around her t-zone area because that is where she produces oil the most so starting off uh, around the nose region especially around the inner side of the corner of the nose make sure you apply primer there and then uh, towards the a bit on the forehead and around the lip region and again allow it to set fast before you move on to applying foundation for her foundation today we're using the maybelline superstay foundation in the shade number 375 which is called mahogany and that is what we're going to apply 
to her face and avoid applying a fresh product around the corners of the nose and the under eye so to blend that in we're just using a brush tap 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 make sure you blend in the neck as well and uh when it comes to blending in the area around the other forehead start just above the eyebrows going up so you avoid using too much products around the hairline region and then after that to highlight we are using the Divi uh, the illegal sorry <laughs> the illegal pro concealer in the shade dark cocoa the one we use to clean the eyebrows so avoid using too much product especially when it comes to applying concealer just something around the inner corner and outer corner of the under eye is enough and then blend it in for concealers as you guys know i always use a beauty blender instead of a brush to blend that in so we're going to start off with the under eye and then the uh, products remaining on the beauty blender is what we're going to do the bridge of the nose with and then after that we're just going to apply very little product around the forehead from in between the eyebrows you know going up that is where you start blending so you can spread it out don't just blend it from down up it is going to create a line on the forehead spread the concealer out that is why i recommend you use very little concealer and then after that for cream blush especially for dark skin use anything with a very red undertone dark red undertone that would work best for dark skin tones and then to set the highlighter the concealer we're going to use the maybelline fit me finishing powder in the shade number 375 i did not want to use a setting powder because the setting powder is way too bright for her skin so if you're a beginner you can use a finishing powder okay number 375 from fit me is amazing look at the way it blends in that is what we're going to use um, to set in the areas where we highlighted that is under eye you know bridge of the nose forehead and uh, you can apply a bit around other lip region if you want to so when it comes to uh, products for very dark skin we normally go with products that have red undertones because it matches their undertone naturally so after that we're going to contour and for this i'm just using uh, an eyeshadow shade from the james charles palette because i did not find any um like very dark um finishing powder to contour with so i use an eyeshadow shade for this and then when it comes to contouring the nose i wanted something with a red undertone so it warms up the face as well so that is what i why i use that shade on her nose and then after that you can apply a finishing powder that matches her skin tone to the T just to go over the whole face so unless you blend in the whole face and then after we're done with that is when uh, we're going to use a hydrating setting spray for her because her skin is on the dry side and then when it comes to highlighter for dark skin go for gold a darker shade of gold not a bright shade a darker shade of gold okay rose gold works well with a dark skin and then for lip lining we are going for a darker shade again to lip line and then uh, this is the shade I'm using here is uh, the Davis number one number one not number three I'm used to and then uh, after that I just applied a bit of dark uh, shade of uh, lipstick around the areas I lip lined and then for her i wanted something that is going to match her face for her lipstick i mean her eye makeup for her lipstick that is why i went for the shade i did not like it eventually <laughs> when i was uh, i am i was editing this video yeah i saw this lipstick and i was like mm, i wish i would have done a nude lipstick instead of this but anyway it still looks amazing so that is uh, the final look guys here today we are focusing on the skin how to blend in the skin for very dark skin yeah that is what we are going to focus on today and look at that highlighter the way it blends in with the blush and it just warms up the face i loved it and then purple with dark skin you see her under eyes with that purple looks amazing i loved it that is it from me today guys thank you so much for watching i'll be seeing you in my next video bye